Hi everyone and welcome back to the Mathsman YouTube channel. In this video today I'm going to be doing a long division demonstration. I'm going to be working through three different questions in this video. The first question is going to be a three digit number divided by a one digit number. Then I'm going to do a four digit number divided by a two digit number. And then finally I'm going to do a four digit number divided by a two digit number. All the way through these examples, I'm going to be telling you exactly what's going on in my head. So hopefully you'll be able to pick up a few tips and tricks on how to do long division correctly. So this is the question 255 divided by 5. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the bus stop method. Now, if you do not know your times table, so if you do not know the five times table, then at the side, before you even begin the question, it's a good idea to write down the times table at the side because it helps a lot. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask myself how many fives in two. I can't do that. Um, there's not enough. So I'm going to um, I'm going to say how many fives in 25 and i know that there is one two three four five fives in 25 and this is what makes it long division so i'm going to take away this number underneath so i had 25 and i'm going to take away 25 that leaves me with the remainder of zero and in long division, I'm going to bring this five down now to here. And I'm going to say how many fives are in five. And there is one. And now there are no more numbers left. So 255 divided by five is 51. So in this next example, we're going to be dividing by a two digit number. So again, before the question even before I even do the question, I'm going to write the 20 times table down the side. So 40, 20, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. Now, the 20 times table is something that I could maybe figure out in my head. But imagine if we were dividing by 13 or by 17, it would be a lot more difficult. That's why writing a list down the sides, very, very useful. So I'm going to put the number that we're dividing underneath the bus stop, 3,240. And the number that we are dividing by goes on the outside. And I'm going to ask myself, how many 20s are there in 32? And I can see that there is 120 in 32. So there is 120. And I've got to take away that 120 here. So it's 32 take away 20. And that leaves me with 12. Next, I need to bring down this 4 and put it next to the 12 remainder. So now I'm asking myself, how many 20s are there in 124? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six 20s in 124. Six 20s is 120, so I need to take away 120. So that would leave me with four. And now I need to bring down this zero and that makes 40. How many 20s in 40? There is one, two. And I need to take away that 40. And now I have zero remainder. So the answer is 162 and there is no remainder. In this final example, we're going to be left with a remainder. So I'm going to show you um, how you can show that as a decimal if you choose to. So I'm going to do the 25 times table first because we're dividing by 25, 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 
175, 200, and I'll probably stop there. So we're dividing 4,356. We're dividing it by 25. So the first thing I'm going to say is how many 25s in 43? So there is one 25 in 43. So I'm going to take away one 25. And that is going to leave me with an answer of 18. And I'm going to pull down the five now because I have 18 there and I'm going to add the five to it. So now I have 185. How many 25s in 185? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And to work out the remainder, I'm going to take away 175. Five take away five, zero. Eight take away seven, one. One take away one. So I have a remainder of 10 now. And now I'm going to bring down this six. I have 106 remainder. How many 25s in 106? There's one, two, three, four. So I'm going to take away four 25s. And that gives me a remainder of six. Now with that six, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a decimal point and I'm going to add a zero next to it and then i'm going to ask how many 25s in 60 the answer is one two and i'm going to take away two fifties uh two two twenty five sorry which leaves me with 10 and then i'm going to add a zero so every time we do a decimal number we add a zero so now i've got how many 25s in 100 there's one, two, three, four. And four 25s is 100. So there's zero remainder. So 4,356 divided by 25 is 174.24. Thanks again for watching. If you did learn something, then please smash that like button. And I will see you in the next video.